Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Okay, please stop. Shut up already. Welcome to Eagle News, the only news that tells all the truth all the time. I am John O'Smiley and I am here today with my guest Dan the Democrat. Um, okay, that was strange. Hmm, hello John, it's good to be here, I think. Tell me Dan, how long have you been a Democrat? My entire life, my parents were Democrats. So, you were abused and brainwashed as a young child. No, I was not abused or brainwashed as a child. If someone is brainwashed, they wouldn't know it. Isn't that right, Dan? Well, I suppose that is true, but... Of course it's true. This is Eagle News. We only tell the truth here. I'd like to ask you some questions. Please do not try to spin the answers. I will make it easy for you by making the multi-choice. All right, here we go. If Obama was any of these mammals, which would he be most like? One, a dolphin. Two, a whale. Or three, Karl Marx. Um, well, since only one is human, I suppose Karl Marx. All right, let's continue. Who would you say is more of a true American? And Native American Indian or Barack Obama? Um, I guess and Native American Indian, because they are, well, native to America. All right, one last question. Who did you vote for in 2008? I voted for Obama. So, you admit that you voted for a Marxist who is not a true American. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass right here and now? What? You're twisting my words and the questions are loaded. The only thing that is twisted here, Dan, is your thinking. And the questions are indeed loaded. They are loaded with truth. Something Democrats know nothing about. Before you voted for Obama, did you know he was a Black Panther who ran with domestic terrorist and that he is part of a secret Muslim terrorist cell who is a Marxist socialist fascist that was born in Africa? I don't think that makes any sense. Marxism, socialism, and fascism are three different things and don't mix. Hitler and Stalin were mortal enemies. Not to mention that I don't think Muslims believe in any of those political ideologies. If I'm not mistaken they mostly believe in Islamism, which if compared to Western politics would more likely resemble the religious right conservatism. Sounds to me like you know a lot about Muslims, fascism and communism, damn. Do all Democrats study the Quran, read books on Hitler, Karl Marx and Stalin? Democrats are Americans just like you, John. They learn about these things in school, it's called history. So, you admit that Democrat children are taught anti-capitalism? I bet my tax dollars are paying for this too. This is the main reason I advocate shutting down the public school system. Okay, thanks for stopping and Dan. Please leave the set. Okay, bye. What have we learned today? By talking to Dan the Democrat we have learned that Obama is more like Karl Marx than we thought and isn't as American as he claims. Whatever Obama is he is bad for America. We have learned that our tax dollars are going towards teaching anti-capitalism. The only way we can stop this is to outsource our schools to the private sector. Allow corporations to teach our children. The ones who cannot afford it could work off their education in a factory or on a corporate-owned farm. Thank you for joining us. This is John O'Smiley with Eagle News. Good night.